Hello and welcome to Xena Warrior Podcast Minisodes. My name is Vera and I'm joined as always by my two quarantine co-hosts, Hi. Katie. Hello. And Libby. Hi. Yes, Hello. Xena Warrior Podcast brought to you by quarantine. Mm. Literally brought to you by quarantine in that we were not supposed no. to be recording this weekend because we were going to be traveling. Correct. Uh, but we are not traveling. No. We <laughs> are, in fact, trapped in the house <laughs> with each other. Ah! Uh, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. We're the normally way. trapped in the house. We together. don't have so to podcast over the internet like everyone else. So that's good. Cool. So you're treated to the same exact audio quality <laughs> as you're used to. And possibly a small child running upstairs yeah. back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I think that's there's going to be a lot more apartment sounds. Yeah, yep. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, our studio is the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, how different everything is since the last time you heard from us. We, you know, well, uh, we hope all of you are doing okay. Our, our hearts go out to you. This is obviously a really difficult time for the world and yeah we're glad we can continue to podcast mm-hmm. we we hope uh this brightens your day it, absolutely yeah uh it's just kind of bonkers how everything is and um you know unfortunately for instance we talked about Zenit retreat that physically is not happening it is mm-hmm. happening virtually though yay i think so, or something something Maybe. some kind of some Perhaps. kind of online, as as everything is now, online version. Yeah. Somehow Vera will still manage to be way too competitive, even in, <laughs> oh my even God. in the Maybe virtual. Maybe they shouldn't do it. <laughs> <clears throat> we must be first. <laughs> Immortals number one. But a whole year, extra year of planning. For the vids? So like, <laughs> oh, for the vid, yes. So like number one. For the vids, so if I was trying to make one, let's say... Yeah, I could just make one already. It wouldn't have been me scrambling in... Oh, dear. Uh, there's that's a, a piano that's a being piano. We also have a pianist. <laughs> a yeah, special podcast somebody pianist. Somebody moved in with a piano, and uh, it's happening right now. <laughs> I forget what I was saying. Vids! Oh, yeah. That I was going to scramble to make one in a week versus... Yeah. Now it better be the best fucking fan I ever made. Ever, ever. Sit on that shit. <laughs> It'll sparkle like a diamond. Oh boy! For a year, so I'm gonna be the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the planning, the planning. Yeah. So many extra ideas. Yeah, yeah. Immortals are gonna bring it in 2021. <laughs> uh, the one thing that I feel like we need to say is, you know, I, I, I we've been so excited to meet our listeners yeah. um, at Zenite Retreat. So, you know, it's such a disappointment that we won't be able to do that in person Correct. this year. But we really hope uh, that we can do it next year. So we still going to meet you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then also, you know, I, I'm curious to hear everyone's uh, hilarious tales from quarantine like hopefully for, hilarious hopefully hilarious like for what instance you uh you know i in my quarantine got sprayed by a skunk Vera got sprayed by a skunk <laughs> not in our house obviously yeah, thankfully not in our Outside house, the house. <laughs> yep that you skunk know. didn't understand social distancing no actually it was from a distance to be fair <laughs> it, was. it was from a safe yeah. six what feet were you away doing? What were you doing? i was just tossing some recycling cans out but uh uh-huh. he was not having it no now some of our listeners are going to be like wait a minute aren't they in new york city what are they doing around skunks yeah. and yes we live in the one part of new york city yeah. that has skunks we have all good. sorts of wild animals let's list them all let's have us be an animal podcast that's what we are now <laughs> birds <laughs> yes we have a lot of birds good job katie uh, birds that they, they come in forms like blue jay Cardinal there's hawk. A, there's, there's, a, there's a hawk. There's a hawk. Yeah. Yes, he lives here sometimes. There's a a, a groundhog. What? Or is he a gopher? Huh? I don't about? actually know the difference, but one of them lives in this neighborhood. Re- have you seen this with creature? Um. Yeah. I don't know what he is. I don't know. We definitely have pos- a possum. Yeah, I've seen the possum and the raccoons. So we have the fucking raccoons, yeah. And but the skunks, the skunks <laughs> and and obviously like deer and and things like that. Um. But the skunks, we have literally seen like huge families of them kind of hanging out on the hill of our park. So that's a thing that can happen. And uh, obviously, they're a constant presence in the trash area. No more taking the trash out at night. 
Yeah, he's skunks. Don't don't ever look <laughs> don't ever look up a video of how a skunk don't. does the spraying. Just don't. Very Just gross. don't. It's not what you think. It's real bad. It's not like a mi- nice just clear mist. <laughs> no, it is not. Like a body spray. <laughs> yeah, no. you would think it would be that, but no. it's not. It is the like, worst thing ever. Oh, no. Yeah, don't do that. So, shall we transition from yeah. skunks, skunks to... Uh, well, what else have we been doing? We Zena. What else I guess have we, could talk we been doing? <laughs> oh, okay, sure. I don't know. Uh, we'll be watching st- some Star Trek. We have yes, been. Yes, that's right. And that's, pre- that's been actually fun. I mean, for really me, nice. yes, for sure. Hope, Star Trek what? For you. Well, um, Star Trek, well, it started, all started with Star Trek Picard, or Picard. is that yeah. his name? I think that is his name, <laughs> Star Trek Picard. <laughs> so, Picard. Might just be Picard. Yeah. Is it Star Trek Picard? <laughs> I don't Picard. think it's, I think it's just Picard. <laughs> so, because there's a special guest star on there, we were uh, going to, um, Fill some holes, some more 90s... 90s holes. Holes. We have a lot of 90s holes. <laughs> <laughs> ship gaps. Yeah, ship yeah, gaps. That's good. So, yeah, yeah. so basically, we went and did a best of seven of nine mm-hmm. on Star Trek Voyager. And uh, it's been really fun. I have yeah. seen Star Trek Voyager. Have. I haven't seen any Star Treks. This is my first. You have seen some Deep Space Nine. Very minimal amount. Oh, that's amount. true. And a minimal like, amount and of Deep Space listeners, Nine. listeners, Odo was her favorite character. I loved Odo, and now I love oh. Seven. I'm so glad you do. Oh, yes. my God. Seven's, Seven's amazing. the best. I've, she was like, oh, man. So Seven far, I haven't really been oh. loving Picard because there hasn't been <gasps> any Seven on it. I well, love Picard because TNG is my thing. I mean, TNG, yeah, yeah. TNG is uh, OG. Yeah. Um, I saw that Romulans, if you slice their throats or whatever, they spit some goo at you like a skunk spray. Oh, no. That was not good. Triggering. That was a little triggering. But uh, regardless, this Seven of Nine project has been fantastic, and uh, it's, you know, so nostalgic to see that stuff. And I fucking love Seven and Janeway. Their relationship is really moving. So good! It's really good. Yeah. Janeway's my gal. So um, I'm excited for this project, and it's kind of always, like, uh, unbelievable, almost when, like, my stuff is being watched. <laughs> <laughs> and then it turns out to actually be good. <laughs> well, yeah, duh. I only watch the good shit. Of course. <laughs> like Xena. Absolutely, yeah. We, we'll never doubt you again. Yeah. You're, you're, all your stuff that you say is good is actually good. <laughs> From my youths. Yeah. yeah. Xena time now? Yes. yes. I think let's uh, turn over to our next mini so topic. Mini. <laughs> mini. As we in, say. In yeah. quotes, air yeah. quotes. Uh, this time, uh, Lisa, her first choice for mini so topic is Gentleman Jack, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which we will do. We will do. Yes. Down the road. We had multiple requests for Gentleman Jack, and we are excited to talk about it, but we are not talking about it. <laughs> today. Today. Uh, instead, we are going to do Lisa's second choice. I will read it to you. If there was a new TV show with Zena and Gabrielle that was a modern AU... What would you want it to be? Oh, yeah. So let's set the scene. (laughs) We're in Hollywood. Okay. Hollywood sign behind us. Okay. Yes. We're in a little office. Okay. Okay. On, I guess, the universal lot. Is it like that scene with Ted? (laughs) Yeah, definitely that scene from Xena Scrolls. Yeah. But instead of Rob Tafford, it's... Yeah. Me. Our (laughs) development executive (laughs) in a fancy suit is Katie. Okay. Vera. And I'm bad I... at development, FYI. <laughs> it's a known fact. I don't know why you put me in this role, but I will take it. All right. All right. Well, you know what? I bet there are a lot of bad development execs. So Probably. Join that's why uh, so yeah, that's why that club. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But a also, I just think shit. everything is bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's good. She's going to be hard to please. <laughs> Vera and I are a writing team. Yeah, have, like like in the college days. Yeah, we're we're coming in. We we have a meeting with Katie, and we have a few ideas to pitch to her. Okay, yep. Anyway. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try, and Katie's gonna these tell are, us these are TV shows. Gonna tell us whether we, we get Sometimes. a green light or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'm very excited. <laughs> very excited. Very excited. Well, gosh, I think we would be kicked out of the office because of our 
opening ones are like not that, really that's true. spun out at all. We like we structure <laughs> this by all the bad ideas first. Oh. <laughs> we don't recommend for, if you're if you're listening to this being like, how do you do a pitch? This don't is, do it like this. this. Is not how. No. no. So I you, don't even know how. <laughs> that's true. I don't think even we know <laughs> how. Um, you have but, to have a thing where you go like. It's like this right. and this. Sure, and we, we have a little that. bit of that. We, yeah. got, we got some log lines, and we can like do a... In a world where <laughs> there are cops... Without the trailer. Imagine Zena, Zena. <laughs> as a cop. <laughs> as a cop. Oh, it's so original. I know, right? Oh, my God. Is it we got a green light right away. Yeah, is it's, it's just Rizzles. Yeah. Okay. Rizzoli and Isles. Rizzoli and Isles. A-U. Actually, it's not. It's That's more like, true. it's Rizzoli and Isles okay. meets NYPD Blue. Oh, Ooh, how so is that? So it's like, yeah, it's more Yeah, it's hilarious, but also gritty. And, okay. Yeah, NYPD no. Blue is the classic. What? It's a classic. A classic. And also, I'm Dana Delaney, it. almost Xena. Oh, that? Okay, oh. so full circle. Yep, yep, yep. So, you know, we begin with the, the usual roundup of cops, lawyers, and or doctors. <laughs> They're all in one? <laughs> No, uh, well, unless you're doing like the the Chicago PD fire. Okay. Oh, uh, that's true. Whatever verse. Zena's a cop. Gabs is a lawyer, and <laughs> Joxer's a doctor. Yeah, what? It's three shows that cross over back to back every night. <laughs> like one. Well, that's the best third show. watch that used to be on. Oh. There were that's no right. lawyers, yeah. but there was EMTs and um, cops. Yeah, and stuff, that's so. right. No, but this is just like a, you know, the, the typical slew of like Xena and Gabs. They're cops they're in this cops. one. Gabs is the brookie. Xena is a disgraced detective. Ooh. Disgraced. She got, yeah, she got uh, demoted. At first oh. you think it's because of, you know, something bad she did, but then it turns out it's like an internal affairs thing and like. Line of duty. The cops are corrupt and she and Gabs investigate and eventually like get Xena back to being a detective. And Gabs That's right. also gets promoted to detective. So it's line of duty. Yeah. It's, okay. it's <laughs> line, line of duty. But with Zena and Gabs. Yeah. I like it. Oh. Well, and and uh, don't forget that Aries is chief of police. Aries is chief of police. So. He's definitely, so. dirty. definitely dirty. Definitely dirty. dirty. Yeah. <laughs> In every sense, which is really dirty. Uh, we didn't really come up with anything for lawyers or doctors, oh. but we just felt like we needed to mention that those would Ex- obviously that would exist. be I mean, yeah. Those are the three biggest like, yep. TV Everybody show Everybody loves things. that. Well, I like the line of duty angle. I like the corrupt <laughs> cop, but not angle. But they're not... So, first of all, line of duty it's is a great. show we recommend on Hulu. It is a British... Show it is fun, especially season two. It's it really complicated. It's right. hard. It's hard to follow. Hard to follow. It. Turn on the subs. I can't follow but, it at m- all. I mean, season one is about the guy who plays Morgan on The Walking Dead. If you're familiar with that, but season two is the best, and that is Keely Hawes. Keely, just do yourselves a favor and watch season two because mm-hmm. it's great. And also, you don't really need to see season one for no, it. No, they're, I they're sort of like one. self-contained they, stories. They're sort of. There are season. a few couple yeah. like things but you can survive because we didn't even see season one when we watched season two right we watched season two for yeah. keely that's so there, how we and, discovered the show and there's like two uh, there, sorry there's like five episodes so you can binge it real quick yeah. no your, there's more quarantine. than five no per season or something <laughs> no right? there's like eight. Yeah. Oh, are there you know, yeah typical okay. british length british length is like three episodes oh my god well that's not that's for some <laughs> shows yeah <laughs> so anyway point being watch line of duty However, our uh, Xena cops, I don't think they're internal affairs officers. No, no, I think it would just be like there would be like an internal affairs investigation. Yeah. Now, would that be led by Callisto, who Ooh. wants to keep Xena down? I'm sure. Yeah, I love yes. it. Yes. Love it. Yes. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so we just mentioned lawyers and doctors. Um, there's one where they're astronauts. I love this idea, but we we couldn't really come up well, with a story for this. I think we can because Sounds remember expensive. <laughs> they, uh, the development exec is not into it. <laughs> what net where am I right now? Because well, I don't know the budget for this. That's true. Mm. That's true. Yeah, I mean, well, I think it's budgetary money. concerns. Yeah. Maybe they're just training to go to space, so you don't actually need. To I have think any this is more space. like yeah. This is more like NASA. You just have to build the like you know control room. Right. Um, Mission control. You can easily replicate the space station 
and then okay. you know spend your budget on w- the the one episode where they actually go into space. Okay, but okay, they're gonna Special encounter event episode. Is it more like Battlestar Galactica where it's no, just, they're like, not people and like this... maybe some robots sometimes, or is it like Star Trek where there's like just all it's a modern of, like, AU? Like how much is the Makeup, but um, no, I, I thought it was more about NASA. NASA. They're NASA, they're just NASA. and they're, they're no and they're training. I mean, for... maybe we could do an aliens they're plot n- line when we jump the okay. shark. Okay, <laughs> but it's like okay. realistic. I think it's yeah, it's realistic, realistic astronauts NASA. working to go on the what is it the Orion? What is the new oh, I forget, shuttle yeah, that they're the building? Na- yeah. I literally saw it with my eyes, but I don't remember. Oh it. no! So but anyway, and you know how they talked about having like. Like the first female spacewalks, and then like the first yeah. female, like the wim- first women on the moon, What's that the arc kind of, of stuff. The first season. Uh, them uh, fighting sexism. What's your five year plan? <laughs> yeah, fighting five-year sexism. Plan. First villain <laughs> is sexism. Second villain is gravity. <laughs> Third. Third year villain. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, aliens, it's only three years. <laughs> okay. No, they actually go on the I moon. Like, I like that they'll probably get some kind of, like, good NASA outfit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, There's a lot of yeah. just, like, you know, Lucy Lawless walking around in jumpsuits. Yeah. I would read all of these fan fictions. Sure. And maybe we want to incorporate the Space Force somehow no, like this. No, let's not. That could be a villain. Yeah, that's a that's great a villain, villain storyline. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, the next one, Liv, I think you should talk about this one because that's your crazy I idea. just wait. I didn't green light. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. A green light I or green light red light? for outfits. Okay. Oh, okay. Green light great, for outfits great. is great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Um, okay, so this one I was thinking in the style of like HBO's Girls. Oh God, red light, <laughs> red light, red light. <laughs> to do like a navel gazing show about <laughs> Zena and Gabs as two best friends and roommates who decide to start a podcast. What? <laughs> the show is about podcasting? Yeah, the show's about podcasting. <laughs> but like, and it's really just, like, well-researched. <laughs> but, like, girls? So, like, there's... So they pee in front of each other, <laughs> yeah. is what you're saying. That's girls. <laughs> and it would be just about, like, that their... Adam Driver. You know, their struggles to run a successful podcast... And like you know. Oh no! You mean just how they pee in front of each other? Yeah, the on water girls. Sports part with yeah, oh yeah, that's another no, part. Yeah, no, no, they just like yeah, pee no, in front of each did, other. Yeah, they just because they're so yeah friends. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. So like the show would be so you know obviously you'd have like subplots about their like lives as girls in the big city, but like the main plot would be how like, to run watching, a podcast, watching the podcast really like boring. take off. <laughs> Red light. Aww. Yeah, red light, man. Red Aww, light. Aw, man. <laughs> I would read this fan fiction. Like, this one goes fan fiction land. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I mean, I would do the, them in the city. They don't even be po- what I guess they could have a, have a podcast as I mean, part of their it's life. It's kind of fun if they do. I don't know if it should be part of the. I'd be curious Central to see what would Zena and Gabs force. talk about on a podcast. On a podcast, yeah. What would they yeah. Be? So you're just watching them. Is it a YouTube show? Maybe it's a YouTube okay. show. Okay, because you want like a visual. Like a YouTube web series. Okay, we we actually, not, not to spoil you for our pitches, I'm so yeah. glad, development executive Katie, that you're on this wavelength, because oh, let me tell you, we're vibing with you Yeah, right we're now. vibing. We got, we got a great idea we for you, but vibes. not till later. Yeah. Give me another white claw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another aspect that probably would not be true of a meeting is that we would not be all drinking, but <laughs> we are. All right, I feel like, honestly, the next several <laughs> live, live, yeah, they were right. your additions. <laughs> So, okay, I have one This is really not um, very fleshed out, but I really love the idea of doing a social justice warrior princess. Yeah. Okay. So this would actually be Gabs is like hardcore leftist, like Antifa, like <laughs> demonstrator, far. Okay. like very far, far left. Very far. And Xena, I can't decide exactly what I want from her, whether she's actually like a like traditional Republican who's like kind of fallen mm, out with the party. Anymore. Well, yeah, oh, because that's out over a like controversial okay, okay. right wing sure, sure, sure. candidate getting elected. Okay. Uh, and that maybe now gotta she's go. like 
kind of at loose ends. Mm-hmm. And Gabs, like, recruits her. Mm. It, like, seduces her to the left. Ooh, and his, other seduction. And other kinds of seduction. They're yeah. politicians? No, no, Xena's a politician. I think Xena maybe is a politician, or maybe she was sort of like a Fox News type. You know, someone, Whoa. like, in the, the, U, the Republican media universe. Okay. Yeah. Did she have Political leaked drama. nudes? <laughs> Were there leaked nudes leaked involved? Leaked nudes? Yeah. Sure. There can definitely be a storyline with leaked nudes. I mean, this sounds like a show in some way, because political dramas exist. They yes, do. Yes. Like House of Cards. House of Cards. Sure. That like, was kind definitely of a, a little show. soap opera I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I just, I mostly pitch this, because I really love the idea of just seeing Gabs be like a fuck the police type. I think that That's just fun. would yeah. be entertaining to see Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) okay i mean i think we're getting a yellow light maybe yeah i just it's sort of like i kind of want mm, yeah i'm trying to see how the like activist person Mm -hmm. because like in political dramas i feel like she's more of like i'm like oh she's the journalist character Mm. or something you know like how do they constantly how does this politician-esque person or Fox News person always coming up against this, like, one bozo? (laughs) (laughs) Well, if she's, like, leading an army of uh, social justice warriors Mm. behind her... She's like organizing marches constantly and like. But she could she could also be like a politician. That's true. She could be I mean, like that would be yeah. yeah, she could and, be the AOC. And then sure, I love it. Else. I love Gabs like as in the that AOC. Vein. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, I don't know. All right, okay, that's. Fun. I was just, like, I'm trying, I'm trying to make the put her in a business. I'm seat. Trying to get it to like I mean, maybe be she'll cl- get more to intimate. That point. Yeah, because where does the yeah. Where do they Where, come into contact all the time? Meet, yeah, yeah, that's a good on point. On the floor of Congress. Literally on the you floor. You can watch it on C-SPAN. Sexy times on the floor of Congress. Live from C-SPAN 3. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Will Robin Wright be in it? Um, yes, please. Sure. <laughs> she can cool. play Aphrodite. Cool. What? <laughs> Alex Tidings plays Aphrodite. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Vera. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> she can play Zeus. What other mm. political shows are there? The West Wing. I'm just thinking. Yeah, that's there's political two. M. House of Cards. Madam Secretary. Madam oh, Secretary. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh Com- Madam Secretary. Like one of them is the like Commander sec- in Chief. The chief. Yes. Starring Gina Davis. One of them could be the president, like in a good way, and then Mm. I feel like there's all sorts. Of, yeah, this is yeah, fun. Could political AU is fun. Put them in a political AU situation. I green light it. Yeah. All right. We're getting a lot of green lights here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens with the next one. All right. All right. So this is basically in the style of Real Housewives, but it isn't a reality show. It's like a fictionalized reality show. Okay. So. This is only going to mean it, something to me because I actually watch the Real Housewives That's franchise. That's um, allowed. So I was thinking of Xena as like, she's sort of like the star of her show, but mm-hmm. also like the villain. She's mm. the one always causing the drama. She's okay. involved in the fights. And I think she had like a hardcore like villainous arc the previous season of the show okay. where she just like basically antagonized the entire cast and like (laughs) you know obviously threw her wine in someone's face um and basically got dogpiled in the reunion so now it's a new season and she basically has to like go on an apology tour like she's trying to show that i get it like you know she's a she's gonna be like a true friend to the girls this year, and they can all trust her, and she's not gonna cause so any drama. Enter Gabs. Uh-huh. She's new. She's like you know because they always like change up the cast to like freshen it up. Sure, so sure. she's new this year. She's never watched the show. How's that possible? I know. So she doesn't know about the drama. <laughs> she only gets to hear about it from the girls. Second, ah, I get it. This and good. she she's really taken with the new Xena <laughs> and totally trusts her and thinks she's great and doesn't understand why everyone hates her. <laughs> And that's as far as I got with this. Uh, this is good. I like a green light go. 
Okay. I feel like uh, Lucy Lawless would be in her like football wise. Yes, I was yeah. gonna say persona. Oh, for this loves it. They're all in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think for all these shows, they star Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor. Very nice. Right. Yes, yeah. but <laughs> yes, sure. Because <laughs> um, you'll see later. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> never mind. Never what? mind. What? So just you know, but also like you think, yeah. Oh, is, just, oh yeah. What is there one where? Never mind. But like just outside time. Outside. Yes, outside that's it. It's a good. Lucy candidate. Lawless and Renee O'Connor. Outside, but, like, outside time. time. Yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Or they form go into ahead. the time that's, that it needs to be. Yeah. We however understand. old they need to be to we make understand. these ideas work. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay, so we got The Bachelorette, but Zena and Gabs. Oh. We, so, for instance, Zena is the, the Bachelorette. So you have uh, all sorts of suitors, including ladies, vying for her love, for her mm-hmm. rose. I wish Bachelorette would do this, ladies yeah. and gentlemen as suitors. Right, so this way you can explore Zena's full powers of bisexuality. Mm-hmm. And you can have fun contestants like so Marias. It's, so it's literally you're watching The Bachelorette. It's not like Unreal. Um, it could be if we want. But I honestly, what I see this as is like an episode of Xena actually doing this. Oh my God. Kind of I, thing, can, you know I can I mean? definitely see. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah if Xena were made now, they would do, they would do this. a Bachelorette yeah. episode. But yeah. yeah, we can make it be an Unreal. But I mean, it's like less of a takedown of the um, whole formula of The Bachelor. And more about exploring. Just doing it. Just formula. doing it. Mm-hmm. Just kind of embracing it. <laughs> just and, seeing it. Yeah. You like, know, seeing them do the, like, like they go on their, like, home visit. They do that. <laughs> like, it'd be fun to see Xena, like, take abs to Amphipolis. Yeah. You know? I like this. Yeah. I mean, people are into The Bachelor, <laughs> so I yes. feel like it would be a hit. So, okay. It would be, yeah. yeah. And I just think it would be really fun to have all of these different types of suitors from mm-hmm. everything. I'd love to see Mariah's just, like, doing the confession. Like, yeah. that sounds really funny to me. <laughs> uh, moving on from the televisual medium, or actually, I mean, it's still televisual, but it's just, it's more of a new media now. Yeah, yeah. New what? media inspiration. Yes. What? We have Zena and Gabs as Ghost Hunters, <gasps> a.k.a. BuzzFeed Unsolved. Oh, my Zena God. Gabs. Green light. <laughs> Green light. So if you don't know BuzzFeed Unsolved, uh, Vera, why don't you describe, like, the premise? Um, Well, it is two lads. They are co-workers on BuzzFeed. Yep. And they kind of go around. uh, They have a true crime part where they, like, kind of create, um, they, they delve it's into very stories. very expansive universe at this point. Yes, they delve into uh, uh, various true crimes per episode. One of them mm-hmm. knows the story and tells it to the other one, basically. Mm-hmm. And then there's a, another version of this where they kind of like do ghost hunter stuff. So they have evolved to like going to various famously haunted places and like sleeping there all yeah. night to try to see if there's ghosts. They have like literal Quit like there ghost meters to try to get, you know, ghostly vibes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, of course, the internet ships them. And it has, like, that. you know, they set it up with that dynamic, which I yes. like, which you have, like, a skeptic, you have, yes. like, a believer, exactly. like, a qu- quality. Yeah. So we think, I, I mean, like it. Zena so would the dynamic be the skeptic there. and okay. Gab's the believer. I see it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, obviously, like, certain environments would, like, challenge both of them. Yeah. Mm. You I like wonder, it. could it be real? And it's like, is it just, the, okay, so they're in, the show is the, like the, the web series. It's just yeah. two characters doing this. It's a web series. This. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. It's episodic in so that they would sense. go sleep on the Queen Mary. And sure, stuff. absolutely. Right. Yeah, cool, and you cool. watch this shit on YouTube. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, sold. <laughs> yeah. Getting, Great, that all, was cheap. all in green except maybe the podcasters. <laughs> girls. <laughs> HBO's girls as that podcasters. so many just things. <laughs> I mean, just them in the big city. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like. Our other new media is uh, Bon Appetit Test Kitchen, but Zena and Gabs. And okay. also, we don't really watch this. So. Yeah, neither yeah. of us watch this it's program. It's very so. popular. Yeah. yeah, that's why we're pitching it. Yeah, we're <laughs> pitching it because we know it's, it's, it's like a thing yeah. people are into. Bon Appetit Test Kitchen, the, the one that's like the popular part is the people who like recreate food. Right, yeah. It's like... 
a brand, like, mm-hmm. so Girl Scout cookies, yep. and they, like, make, or Twinkies, and they, like, she, make. She makes Pringles. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. And real. there's, like, a ship equality Yeah, so there is do. some other guy so there, be, and you ship him with the girl. The cooking yeah. on yeah. the Recreating internet. Recreating the junk foods and falling in love over the baking trays. I like Of it. combos, <laughs> the natural combos <laughs> that, that they've created. Good. I like it. This sounds cozy. <laughs> Sure. sure, why not? Sounds inexpensive. <laughs> we have so <laughs> many shows. I don't know how we're going to make yeah. them all. Oh my God. Uh, our next idea, and this one we've more fully fleshed out. We actually have a little written piece <laughs> that I will read for you. It's set in the exciting world of the New Orleans restaurant scene. Green light. <laughs> Green. <laughs> One good piece of advice for you is tailor your pitches to the preferences <laughs> of the development exec. If you happen to get an inside line on stuff they like, mm-hmm. like for say, Treme. Orleans, Treme. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. So this is our Treme AU. New Orleans and New Orleans food. New Orleans food. We didn't really get the a lot best. of New Orleans food flavor in this piece of writing oh all For, right personally well, i don't I mean, think it needs to be set in you said orleans, it was set, whatever. it's what? definitely set in new orleans why for her it is i mean okay it's it like it's be. a good place a lot of filming down there yeah it's sure a, a sure. nice and expensive way all right. All right. to make a uh, show it's like one of the best cities of I mean, the planet sure, sure. and has the best food i'm sold okay. put them in the restaurants <laughs> i'll watch it all right well do the pitch okay yes. So, Zena is a chef with a restaurant empire that oh, all... Oh, shit. She's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. She's go like that, that New Orleans guy oh, she, with the oh, restaurant go empire. Okay, go ahead. It all comes crashing down mm. after a member of her staff blows the whistle on her and tells the world about her emotional abuse. She's like, Whoa. really... Intense with her kitchen staff. Yeah, some chefs are like Who, that. Who's the whistleblower? The whistleblower is a sous chef named Kalisto. <gasps> Aw, shit. She's been burned okay, <laughs> by Zena okay. in the kitchen. Literally or? <laughs> Could be literally. No, no. I think it's just like emotional abuse. It's just, oh, like, you okay. know, it doesn't get okay. any, it, no, nothing she physical. She's like burns she's, in the kitchen. Uh, yeah. Okay, she's an intense chef. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe there's, like, extenuating personal reasons that Zena's like this, you know, <laughs> harsh upbringing, maybe substance abuse issues. I can see oh, it. Oh, totally, totally. Um, but anyway, she gets help. She definitely attends Whoa. some anger management okay. classes. Okay. And then she resolves to get her career back off the ground. Okay. Meanwhile, there's Gabs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's fresh out of culinary school. <laughs> And culinary, 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 skewed. Um, and uh, you know, she's really green. And normally, someone like her would not be a sous chef, but Zena's just like desperate. She can't get anybody in the industry to work mm. with her mm-hmm. because of how how she used Horrible to be. She, was. she used to be. Yeah, sure. Yeah, she's working on it. Mm-hmm. So, so she <laughs> ends up recruiting Gabs to be her sous chef. She jumps okay. the ranks. Uh, they start off really small. They start off with a food truck. Okay. Named Argo. Named Argo. <laughs> <laughs> and they're cooking in these like really close quarters. And like sparks begin to fly. Yeah. Hopefully not I like it. real sparks though because then everything would burn down. <laughs> Uh, and, and you know you follow you follow the arc as they you know they like event, you know obviously origin at at the beginning things aren't going so well with the food truck mm-hmm. but eventually they figure out how to attract customers and they get some loyalty and they mm-hmm, do like mm-hmm. pop ups and finally finally <laughs> they like work their way up to like having a restaurant okay and you're like oh my god at the end of the season they did it and they have to share like a sweet kiss like in the kitchen it's yeah. like the first food. the first orders come in food. I mean, <laughs> yummy food i guess C- cajun oh, they, oh, it's yeah cajun. it's a fusion cajun okay. fusion. Orleans, stuff yeah like it. all right it's just good food okay okay <laughs> um Okay, but like meanwhile, you still have Callisto, mm-hmm. the burned sous chef, who now is like advanced and yeah. has her own kind of burgeoning restaurant empire. <laughs> 
and me and also a really she's she's hungry for vengeance yes against Xena okay and like she will do anything to stop <laughs> Xena's comeback anything including arson oh, yes no. she yes. definitely tries to like sabotage the food truck somehow, oh for sure for somehow. sure so she's Rude. just always fucking up their mm-hmm. comeback okay. uh so will Xena and Gaz recover from their kitchen nightmare before restaurant week we'll just restaurant <laughs> week yeah. we'll have to see oh dear that's yep. a that's, green light. That's okay. <laughs> green light, green light. I there's not a lot of like restaurant shows that are not not, a, not ever not since uh, the one with Bradley Cooper. Mm. <laughs> was that a movie? Oh, was that a movie? No, is that burnt? burnt? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Sweet that was a show bitter or, or is a show. That's Sweet about, bitter. I've, I've never seen. Yeah, it. I can't say. Most I of them are reality shows. Yeah. So maybe so, we'd actually be starting like, a trend with this. And like this. Treme obviously had mm-hmm. chefing. Chefing. And it was fantastic. But that sure. was like a small part. I've never seen like a whole show. About just chefs about doing chef stuff. Party of Five, they owned a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. You don't, yeah, you don't see it. Like yeah. Maybe a sitcom, people working. Maybe it's, a diner it's not or really. Yeah, you can work in a diner. Like you can you could be girls, waitresses, in a diner. but no I'm one is like a, a chef. That thinks cheers was like in a that's bar. That's a bar. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just trying to like. I think this is Central Park Coffee Shop. You don't see it so much. You don't. So that's I, why this is I gonna like be big. And you definitely could have like amazing tie-ins with like a restaurant like an actual pop-up mm. restaurant yeah. like that would be the restaurant from the show mm. serving out the food like yeah. like in Chime when you go to the restaurant right in real life yeah and we were like oh my god New Orleans is Kim Dickens well. here yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, she will be <laughs> oh I love her so much you guys. she can play Athena I don't know. I'm just thinking of goddesses. Cool. Okay. Oh, you yeah. can put her in the show. Sure. sure. Just we'll for put me Kim Dickens in for you. Yeah. yeah. This is great. This is every the best time wait, you've ever she done. Could, she could play Zeus. Every time you mention an actress, I'm always like, like yeah. she's going to play Zeus. She'll play Zeus. <laughs> I really enjoy this immensely. And then we can live in New Orleans while we make this show. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. All right. Next okay. idea. Go, Vera. <laughs> U.S. women's soccer. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Zena is the striker, mm-hmm. leading goal scorer, and captain of the U.S. women's national team. Okay. She's got three World Cup stars and endorsement deals galore. She's idolized by little girls everywhere. There's just one problem. She's a horrible person, and she plays <laughs> dirty. Oh, no. <laughs> Too dirty. <laughs> Her rough playing style injures her opponents. Oh, shit. That's no good. And it antagonizes the refs. Her bad behavior perpetually threatens her image and endorsements. But as long as she keeps scoring those goals, people put up with it. (laughs) Okay. They're on their way for another World Cup, and then after that is the Olympics, so they can't lose their star player now, you know? Right. Meanwhile, Kalisto... She's the star player of the English team, the Lionesses. She has a grudge against Xena ever since she fell victim to one of Xena's most horrific tackle oopses. Tackle oops? <laughs> it was a bad one. In that game, Xena took out three How is she ladies. so in the league? How did she do it? Was it like a lot of flipping? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. trying to picture There it. was an illegal flip situation. Oh, for an sure. illegal flip situation. Yeah. So during the World Cup, she comes up with an effective strategy to provoke Xena's temper and get her red carded in the knockout round, robbing the U.S. team of their glory. Now Xena is trying to work on her image and learn how to play a clean game so they can win gold at the Olympics. Yes! Okay. Enter Gabs, a talented rookie, who manages to nab and keep a starting position as a center back. While Xena's other teammates are still pissed with her for screwing up the World Cup, Gabs is willing to give her a second chance and help rehabilitate her bad habits with a lot of private, sweaty practices. Okay. (laughs) Green light. (laughs) Other things that can happen on this show is that, you know, you have the, the various refs, Per game, oh, and could be different. Yeah, gods. different gods That's would appear cool. via refing. 
and or coaching. I think there'd be a lot of sports bras, like a lot of good sports bras. <laughs> a lot of abs. A lot so of abs. Many. Yeah. Um, uh, obviously, Aries Whoa. would be captain of uh, Callisto's team. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, much I mean, not captain, sorry, uh, coach, okay. the, the head coach of the of the team. Um, would that mean we get to see him with an English accent? That would be fun. Sure, yeah. Maybe absolutely. kind of cockney, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Real annoying. <laughs> yeah. So that's that one. <laughs> you sound stoked. <laughs> about this. I just want to see, you know, like all it. the locker room shenanigans, the bus, A sports the bus ride. Really. Yeah, just like gals being pals. I want to see their first date be like going around the Olympic Village and like holding hands. That's yeah, the end. Though. That's true. That's, that's their the first that's date. The, yeah, maybe their first real date. That's like, when they've the been, orgy like, happens in secret in the dating, Olympic Village, and like finally they're like publicly dating. Like, oh, just like the the, just like Harris and Krieger two or something. <laughs> What'd you say, Katie? I think you can't get to the Olympics until season two. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Something. Well, first you have to You're see right. them lose yeah. the World Cup. That's going to yeah. be a surprise because you think they're going to win because yeah. they're like the main team of the show. Right. It's like, ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Really keeping yeah. you guessing. I guess it's a two season type of show. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this has long legs. You yeah. definitely want to schedule it around an Olymp like a, mm. a either an Olympics year or a World Cup year yeah. or preferably both. Right. Yeah. And then I mean I guess this is what could happen. You can have the first two seasons be strong like that, and then after that you have them play on the same national league and then the show gets cancelled. Because that's not as good. Aww. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that in a pitch session. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the less good version yeah. that it will eventually become. All right. Our next idea okay. may sound familiar, <laughs> right. but it's a new spin okay. on an old favorite. Mm -hmm. What? We even have a title for it. Yeah? It's called Athens, Georgia. <laughs> okay. It's set in Athens, okay. Georgia. Meet Xena. A moody teen. Probably should just be one name. One. One? Yeah. Like snappy. Like Atlanta. Like oh, Athens. Athens. <laughs> Athens. Okay. All right. But it's Athens. I'm in Or it really, like, or really could just be called. No, no. You're, yeah, Xena you're, you're Warrior challenging Princess. Me. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> that just could still be called Xena Warrior Princess. It could Princess. be, okay. but okay. I, I feel or like. It really should be called Xena the Warrior Princess. <laughs> oh, Xena the Warrior Princess. All You'll right. You'll see why. I still like, at, I'll take okay, Athens. Okay. Sure, that's fine. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, okay, so meet Xena, a moody teen. <laughs> Oh, I see. That's why the out of time casting. Well, it could be like 10, 15. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. I would love to see Lucy Lawless play a teenager. Uh, she hates working at her mom's kitschy Greek restaurant. Shout yeah. out to Irene. Yeah. Okay. That's so good. You have a lot of scenes set in the kitschy Greek restaurant. restaurant. You know, Sounds the waitresses cozy. all have to wear like the Greek peasant outfit. Okay. Very, Zina hates very it. Very kitschy. Zina really hates it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they do the like, opa, when they yeah. like set the cheese on fire. Um, okay. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> I want some of that right like now. It. So one day, one of one of the we, we weren't sure if we wanted to be like one of the customers at the restaurant, or maybe someone who like sells them their wine or their olive oil, but just like someone in the restaurant environment, like a mysterious woman, mm -hmm. attractive woman, attractive. Yeah, be a man about this. Attractive woman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really hot woman uh, reveals herself to be. The goddess Athena. Okay. And she tells Xena that she's special. Okay. She's the descendant of a great warrior of ancient times. Okay. <laughs> Vaguely ancient times. Get it. Uh, and now Xena has been chosen by the gods to defend Athens against the forces of darkness that are commanded by Ares. Who's in town? Oh, okay. <laughs> he just rolled into town. He just really wants to like yeah. control Athens, Georgia. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's step okay. one in his scheme to conquer the world. First Athens, yes, Georgia, yes. Sure. then the world. Yeah. I've never been there. I'm sure but nice. I think he comes to Athens, Georgia, specifically because he knows there is this chosen, chosen warrior. One there. He's got to get rid of get her. Get rid of her before the world is his. Yeah. 
So in between her shifts at the restaurant mm-hmm. and her classes at the high school, mm-hmm. Zena has to battle the ghoulish Greek mythological creatures that Ares sends after her, like minotaurs and centaurs mm-hmm. and all the other tours. Okay. Right. So, okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's how Gabs comes into the story. Right. Yeah. She's a new arrival okay. at Athens High. Mm-hmm. She's blonde <laughs> and she's Texan. So she seems like (laughs) this great candidate for, like, being, like, one of the most popular girls in school. And, Uh in fact, like, the big clique is, like, trying to recruit her. But Gabs can't help but find herself drawn not to those girls, the plastics, Mm. but (laughs) to Xena, Mm. the resident weirdo. Yay! With her dyed black hair and leathers. Okay. (laughs) So then, um, you know, why is Xena unpopular uh, is sort of like a running mystery okay. in the first season. Like, what happened? Why, yeah, do, what happened? why do all the students hate her? Um, there was, like, a mysterious incident back in middle school mm. that <laughs> led to a student getting expelled. Whoa. That student was... Kalisto. Kalisto. <laughs> so she's in military school now. You oh, follow shit. her Yay. at the military school. Okay. She's really eager to have her revenge. Got it. She's going to get it someday. <laughs> okay. So Gabs doesn't know, like, why does everybody hate Xena? She thinks Xena's really cool. Got it. Mm-hmm. Um, she, she wants to get close to her. And in the process of doing that, she soon discovers Xena's extracurricular tour fighting activities. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Meanwhile, you also have, like, some of the other Greek gods around in the school. Uh, We thought maybe Aphrodite could be the school's sexual health counselor. like it. Who totally ships Zeta and Gabs. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, And then you have a very original idea of Athena masquerading as the school's librarian so that she can be Xena's mentor. Uh, yeah. I see. I yep. see the mm-hmm. very original, very, very original. original idea. <laughs> also very original is that you have a character named Joxer, who's sort of the class clown. Is he? Um, who get, also gets involved in the uh, Scooby <laughs> gang. The Scooby gang. The Scooby gang, yeah. <laughs> not from anything. Not just, you know, not refer- from Scooby-Doo. Not referencing Scooby-Doo or... <laughs> Anything, Anything else? else. <laughs> Scoobidopolis gang? <laughs> Make it <laughs> Greek? <laughs> Make it Greek. <laughs> Green light. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Would watch. <laughs> Put it on freeform. Yes. All right. Our last, our mm. last pitch. Mm. The social media influencer. What? This is the show? Or is it just like this you're watching on show, Instagram? This will be a show, but okay. this is what the crux is. All right. Zena is a successful YouTuber with a fitness slash self-defense <laughs> channel. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can okay. see it very vividly. <laughs> she wants to branch out into new platforms, okay. so she hires Gabs to run her social media accounts. <laughs> this is the show? Yes, this yeah. is the show. Wait like for it. Like a TV it. show that you're going to watch. Yes. Wait for it. All right. Gabs is Zena's biggest fan, and now she's her ardent promoter. Okay. Trouble arises when Gabs amasses her own following and her own abs by performing Xena's routines on the Instagram channel. <laughs> Other characters include <laughs> Callisto, an intense yoga person who teaches sure? Zena serenity during this stressful period in her relationship with Gabs. Okay. So Callisto is uh, taking yeah. on a, a quite different yeah, form. Yeah, we wanted than yeah, like, we wanted to do a like. <laughs> Callisto is not the out angel for Callisto. Revenge. Yeah, this is Angel Callisto, <laughs> and obviously, you know, we know Hudson can do yeah. the yoga aspect yeah. of this. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hercules is a rival fitness influencer who accuses Zena of stealing his material, but really, he's stealing hers, Ugh. and we're sort of stealing from Javi. <laughs> That's true. That's Making his, Hercules the yeah, villain. Yeah, he's the yeah. villain here. And then here are some story arcs that could happen. Okay, that's what I'm curious about. <laughs> so there's a story arc where Gabs, feeling too much online, meets <laughs> Eli, a used bookstore owner and proud user of a taped together flip phone. Okay. He does not believe in smartphones or the internet. Okay. He likes to be chill in his bookstore. Mm-hmm. He convinces her that going offline is the way. 
Uh, she throws her phone into the river and oh vows no. to give up all screens forever. Shit. But then Hercules gets his followers to harass and dox Xena. And Gabs is lured back onto social media to defend her. They are both crucified in the YouTube comments. Uh, the end. <laughs> That yeah. was really nicely put. I didn't <laughs> watch this show. Yeah, it's true. It's hard to imagine actually watching it. But, but it was very um, well written. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love Xena, like the mental image of her doing fitness. Yeah, and it's true. Fitness. It's, it's very easy to see. I also see Gaps doing all of Xena's tweets and right, stuff and which writing is all the playing comments. Playing into her bar yes. persona so. that she would write about. You know, Xena maybe isn't very good at talking about herself, which has always been kind of tripping her up mm-hmm. when she has to promote herself on social media. So, yeah. like, that's part of why she has Gaps to be like, Xena, like, I can, yeah. I can make you sound really great. Basically, yeah. this whole show leads up to Gab starting her own YouTube channel. Yeah, and yeah, social definitely, media definitely. Gab will will discover her inner her <laughs> inner influencer. <laughs> so those are our modern AU pitches. We hope that you guys enjoy I them. I liked them. <laughs> I want to watch the Katie greenlit most of them, <laughs> I did. so you'll I mean, be seeing them all soon. <laughs> Yeah, which is your favorite of those? If you only had the budget for one. Oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> I'll just so qualify the Tremé one because it's too close. Yeah, it was blatant pandering. Um, pandering, pandering. Um, I mean, the soccer one, you can see the drums. Yeah. Like, I really feel it. Mm-hmm. Like, it, like you can, like a sport drama yeah. is good. Mm-hmm. There's definitely not enough of those. Yeah. I like that and one. People and people like, love the U.S. women's soccer team. I think the freeform one would be very good. Yeah. Like, Mm-hmm. I very original. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's very original. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> File off those. I mean, Athena's the librarian as she is the goddess of wisdom. Yeah. And she is also Xena's warrior mentor because yeah. she's a, a, warrior. a warrior. There you go. It works, okay? It still works. They'd meet in the library and foil the tours. <laughs> the dark forces, yes. Dark of forces. Aries. I would watch this for sure. Yeah. Which one? The, uh, the Zena, high school Zena uh, as Buffy. Zena as that Buffy. Was, that was your favorite one. <laughs> um, no, I liked a lot of them. I th- I just I I just thought that like most of them had, had you could just either read that fake or uh, I'd work with it. Yeah, <laughs> I think one of them is a beautiful fan fiction. Yeah, yeah that's I definitely sure. l- watch at least an episode of each. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, some of them the could be movies, be really some fun. could be their own little show. All right, well, that was that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's fun and to spend your quarantine tradition. coming up with. Yeah, it was kind of like writing, you know, trying to come up with Ubers. So. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That we've, we've, we've yeah. got a lot of Ubers history. to add mm-hmm. to the yeah. long history of Ubers. Cena Ubers. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, Good, well done. Thank Good you. Good pitches. Okay, everyone. So, because we are done, you can follow us on other stuff and things. Mm-hmm. Stay safe out there. Because <laughs> we too are social media influencers. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. If you're looking for something to watch, the next thing on our Lisa Lawless Time TV experience is one well, still Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. So watch it. Yeah, we're we'll be talking about that soon. Is it streaming anywhere? I uh, hope so. Yeah, so I think it is. NBC. Okay, there you uh, go. With yeah, and I'm sure somewhere in other worlds, <laughs> sure you can find it wherever. But or buy, buy it. it. <laughs> it's good, you guys. It's good. Uh, seven things. Uh, yeah, xenowarriorpodcast dot com and Twitter at xenowarriorpod and Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, xenowarriorpodcast of which like I uh, got an update and yeah and follow or actually subscribe on Apple Podcasts or like wherever you listen to podcasts and then if you're so inclined you can rate and leave reviews which we like to see that's all the power the passion the The podcast. podcast